Okay, so let's continue this build. Today we're going to actually install the front fork. Setting the crown race, cutting the steerer tube to the correct length. Um, so you have to um, make an intelligent decision based on the stack height of your stem and how many spacers you want. And given that this is a new is fork and it's 150 millimeter travel in the front, and I'm not sure about how slack or uh, that I really want this bike. So it's going to be important for me to get this right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually um, get the fork installed and then install the wheel so I can actually sit on the bike and kind of get a feel for how many spacers I want on the headset. So. Let's get to it and we'll start off by taking a look at what kind of tools you're going to need to do this. Let's talk a little bit about the tools and the um, that you'll need for this build. Obviously, we have our new front fork. Um, we have a star nut setter, which will uh, install a star nut in the center of the steer tube of the fork. Hammer to uh, give that a good whack. Maybe some painter's tape to mark uh, something on the steer. Or you're going to need your headset, both the upper and the lower, and it definitely helps us to have the instructions. We have a big pipe cutter. Um, I use this for a couple different things. Obviously, I'll cut the steerer tube with this, but also uh, uh, longer term, I'll be uh, perhaps, depending on what length I decide for the handlebars, I may cut the handlebars down with these. Ones. The bigger, the better here. You get more leverage. Um, you just want to take it slow. I use this um, TriFlow synthetic grease and it's waterproof and I use this on just about everything that requires grease. Digital calipers. Uh, take some measurements from my older uh, or for some of the other stems. I'm not sold on which stem I actually want to use yet and so you really need to know what the stack height of the stem is uh, before you start cutting steers. So I'm going to make sure I cut for the longest case scenario amongst my choices and uh, use spacers to, to kind of um, work around that. All it is, you're gonna need some spacers. Uh, these are Cane Creek spacers and they have these uh, grooves uh, and so they kind of interlock with each other so it keeps them centered. So I really like using these types of uh, spacers. They're lightweight as well. You're gonna need something to actually set the crown race. All right, so this is a tool that you can use to set the crown race. Uh, the crown race is usually part of the lower um, headset and it needs to be um, applied to the bottom of the fork steer tube and it takes a little bit of pressure to do that and so this is kind of a home remedy to do that there's tons of YouTube videos on using this I actually find this use this works just as good as the uh, any of the crown race setter tools that are on the market plus it's PVC and it tends not to scratch things up when you hit it so I typically use this, um, so we'll use that to set the crown race up. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually clean out the inside of the head tube. And the steer tube fits up through here. And this is a tapered head tube. Head tube. It goes from an inch and a half to an inch and an eighth. And so just give it a good, make sure there's no kind of burrs or anything in there. Just kind of give it a good wipe down. Alright, and then we'll move the frame from the stand so we can put our fork in the stand to actually set the crown race on the floor. Give it a good clamp like that and just kind of clean it up a little bit. So on the Cane Creek headset, you have your top. Now in the bottom, as you open the bottom, there will be a few things in here. And you can see there's a crown race attached to a bearing there. And that is what we have to set on the fork. So as we remove this, so we have a bearing. And this, it has specific chamfer on one edge, right? So it's super important. You can see the profile of that. It's chamfered on this edge and this edge is straight. Um, it's super important to make sure you install this the right way up. That's why. It's always good to look at the installation instructions and your crown race will usually come as it's it's usually stuck on the 
on the uh, on the bearing like such and you pull it apart save the bearing put it somewhere where it'll stay clean and you know a lot of people have done this many times I've done it a few times I just always like to look at this and it gives you a very distinct layout of what you must do here so you can see our crown race at the bottom here and it says apply grease to the steer tube of the fork before you set the crown race and then it specifically shows the layout of the bearing uh, which you see the chamfered edge goes up and then it also has the layout of the top part of the headset as well and so what we're going to do now is we're going to set the crown race and we're going to set this um, after we grease the steerer tube with that white PVC crown race set. And we will go back and actually remove all the excess grease. Like I say, grease attracts dirt and the less, the least amount of grease that you can get on the bike and still be able to function properly is the right amount of grease because otherwise it's just going to attract a lot of dirt. So usually it'll get about down to here and that's usually where I start my grease line, right? Is right where it starts to kind of friction. Then I like to pull it up and just kind of twist it a little bit um, to get the grease around the steer tube. And then we're going to take the PVC and put it over top of this, turn the fork upside down and give it a good whack and it should set. So here's our homemade tool. Um, like I said, I really like this. You can fit this right over the steer tube and with that piece, it fits nicely on the bottom. Just on the crown race itself. And typically what we do is we will put this on the ground, we'll turn the fork upside down, and we'll put it inside, kind of evenly. And so what I'm gonna do is we'll give this a smack here. And then we'll give it a check. We're not quite there yet. And we are there. Take a look here. Uh, what you wanna do is make sure that it is seated properly round. So you want to make sure the crown race is actually seated. And then we'll start installing the parts and we'll come back and remove the extra uh, grease from around the steer tube. Okay, so we have our bike back in the stand. So I'll show you um, the tops of the, uh, the head tube and the bottom of the head tube. So if you take a look inside here, you can see how it has this kind of chamfered, uh, chamfered lip here, and that's where the bearing will sit in. And the bottom also has the same. This is an IS integrated stack head tube. Uh, so let's take a view from the bottom. And we can see the, the chamfered lip on the bottom as well. All right, so if we fit our fork, and um, you can see that our we put our top bearing on it. I'm just going to drop a couple of spacers on here to see what this looks like. Um, we'll start out with uh, this 10 millimeter spacer and then we'll put a couple, uh, make sure you get the interlocking pieces correctly. And we'll leave this one for the top. And so what I'll do is we'll fit our bars over top as such. And so uh, this would be a good way to take a measurement of where your um, cut your steer to. I always leave a spacer on top as well, and that uh, And so if I were using this particular headset, then I would come here make a mark and typically you want to make a mark about you'd make the mark and cut about three millimeters below the mark Do a little scratch here and so there we have our point 
and we're gonna measure three millimeters down from that and that will be where we actually make our cut. Remove the spacers and remove our steerer from the bike. Okay, so we have our mark here, so we wanna go three millimeters below that, so let's mark that. Now we've got our new mark and that is our cut point. Make a flip here. Right. And we will just continuously go around here. And make sure you keep a hold of the pipe wrench at all times because when it decides to break off, it will break off. I can hear it starting to now. And we'll get a little bit more pressure on it. Now we have to clean up the top of the steer here. Uh, make our flat file here. And just kind of clean it up. Then we'll finalize the inside of that. You can just follow it up like this, or you can put the round file in it, and we'll just kind of clean the inside lip up, going back and forth, turn it upside down again, make sure all the any of those shavings that may actually be very smooth. And now we're gonna install our star nut inside of here. And we're gonna do that with our star nut tool, so. All right, your star nut likely came with your headset and also you probably got one with your front fork as well. I'm gonna use this one that came with the Cane Creek headset. And I'm just gonna remove the top cap from it. And the way this works is this star nut is it's, a, it's kind of angled, so if you look at it, and it grabs the sides of the tubes. So our goal is to whack that down inside the fork so that it grabs the edges and that our top cap can go in and, do, and get, give us preload to the actual bearing. And uh, this tool here um, is heavy and it has the correct depth so if you stick it, you can only hammer it in so far because of this lip here and it screws in. And so what we'll do is we'll screw these two together like such. And then once you have it screwed together like that, then it's just a matter of whacking it in with a hammer. So once you've gotten it down to uh, Then it's just a matter of unscrewing the tool from the star nut and you have an installed star nut. And now we can just put it back together. I'm gonna put our headset bearing, the top bearing, and our dust seal on. And we'll try to make the lizard go to the front. So we will put our 10 millimeter spacer on first. And we will put a five millimeter spacer on. Then we're gonna put our uh, bars on. And you, wanna, you don't wanna get too tight, but you don't want to, uh, you want it to be Tight enough where there's, there's no play in the headset. So that's about right. That's how you install your front fork, headset, and top cap stem and handlebars.